At Goku's house, all the girls, except Akino, are gathered around the large kitchen table with serious expressions. Girls, we have convened here today for a reason, Riaz announces, striking a pose reminiscent of Jendo Igri. They all swallow hard, their faces reflecting the gravity of the moment, and turn their attention to Riaz. The reason for this meeting is the recent behavior of our comrade, Akino, Riaz continues, maintaining her Jendo Igri pose. All heads swivel towards the living room, where Goku is seated on the sofa. Next to him is Akino, who is behaving quite out of character. She's acting like a spoiled, pampered girl who is blindly in love. Commander, I have a theory. Medica interjects, following the Evangelion theme. Speak, soldier Medica, Riaz responds, her tone mirroring that of Jendo Ikari. I believe this Akino is an imposter, swapped with a real one at some point. Medica confidently states her theory. And it's so absurd that it might just be true, Riaz muses, causing everyone to nod in agreement. Stupid, Medica retorts, feeling insulted. Very well, soldier Medica, your mission is to verify your theory. Move out, Riaz commands, ignoring Medica's previous outburst. At your command, commander, Medica salutes and prepares to execute her mission. As Medica leaves, the girls peek out from behind the door frame. Their heads stacked like a totem pole. They watch as Medica approaches Akino gestures, and then gets surrounded by sparks and electrocuted. Seeing this, the girls quickly retreat to the kitchen table, while Medica returns, her hair scorched and smoking. Commander, it appears she is the real Akino, Medica reports, her afro still smoldering. The girls stifle their laughter, not wanting to make Medica feel any more foolish. Then, one of them raises her hand to speak. Girls, wouldn't it be easier to ask Goku since he can detect Ki? Jine suggests, causing everyone's eyes to widen in shock. Great idea! As expected from the Captain General Mother, Riaz praises Jine's suggestion. Eh, since when did I become the highest rank? Jine responds, surprised to find herself in a position of authority. Ignoring Jine's surprise, Riaz signals Goku to approach. Goku, looking confused and curious, comes over. General of the Air Goku, could you answer a question? Riaz asks, resuming her role as Commander Ikari. Seeing the girls in this strange atmosphere and his mother sighing resignedly, Goku can only smile nervously, a bead of sweat trickling down his forehead. What question? Goku asks. Could you tell us if Captain Akino is actually her? Riaz asks. I'm not sure what you mean, but she is undoubtedly Akino, Goku answers with certainty. All the girls breathed a sigh of relief, knowing that it was indeed the real Akino. This left Goku even more confused, as he didn't understand their game. Thank you for your cooperation, Air General. You may now retire, Ria said, striking a pose. Goku returned to the living room and sat back down on the couch. Akino laid her head on his lap and asked him, What did they want, Goku? Her voice was soft and sweet. I'm not sure. They're getting weirder every day, Goku replied, raising an eyebrow and expressing concern for the girl's mental health. The next day, Goku was in the backyard of the house, sitting in a lotus position, doing mental training. His training was interrupted by Grafia, who called out to him, Goku, you have a call on the ball that Vegeta gave you. A call? What could it be? Goku wondered. Once inside, he picked up the ball and saw his teacher, Whis, on the screen. Hello Goku, how are you? Whis greeted him. I feel great. Is something happening, Whis? Goku asked. Something like that, but it would be better if we talked about it directly. Can I come to your house? Whis proposed. Of course, when will you arrive? Goku asked, in half an hour. I hope you prepare something tasty, Jijajo, Whis replied. Of course, I'll wait for you then, Goku said, a drop of sweat trickling down his forehead. The call ended. Half an hour later, in the large living room of the house, a portal appeared, and Whis stepped out with a big smile. Ha 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 ho, delighted ladies. My name is Whis, and I am the guardian angel of the god of destruction, Bill Sama. Whis introduced himself to the girls who were watching him. All of them bowed in greeting to Whis, who was unlike any angel they knew. So, what brings you here? Goku asked his teacher after they took their seats. Jijajo, I see that you've become more insightful since you came to this world, Goku-san, Whis replied, laughing in his typical manner. While Goku and Whis were talking, the remaining members of the Ria's clan arrived at the house. What did we miss? Issei asked. Shh, just shut up and listen, Akino reprimanded him, putting a finger to her lips. Issei, and those who had just arrived nodded silently. Goku, for certain reasons, the earth of your universe is at stake, Whis commented, which surprised everyone except Goku. I see. And what are the rules of this game? 
Goku asked. The rules are the same as in the Tinkeiji Budokai, but it will be a 5 versus 5, Whis explained. And who are our rivals? Goku asked again. They belong to Universe 6, which is under the charge of Jampa Sama, the brother of Bill Sama, Whis revealed, which surprised Goku. Bill Sama's brother, Goku exclaimed in surprise, alerting everyone. That's right, and right now Vegeta is gathering fighters for the tournament. But Bill Sama wants you to be the captain, Whis said, sipping his tea. I understand. I will participate, Goku replied, his eyes shining with excitement at the prospect of fighting strong opponents from another universe. I knew you would accept. The tournament will start in three days, so you should prepare, Whis said as he stood up to leave. Whis, would you like to stay for dinner? Akino and Grafia's meals are really delicious, Goku invited. I would love to. I am always willing to eat delicious things, Whis replied with a smile. Akino and Grafia put a lot of effort into that night's dinner. As their guest was someone special. Whis was smiling as he enjoyed the delicious dinner prepared by the girls. They even prepared something separate to take to Bill's. When dinner ended, Whis prepared to return to Universe 7. But Goku stopped him to ask one last thing before he left. Whis, could you take some people with me? Goku asked. Of course, why not? Whis responded positively. Thank you, Goku said, looking happy. There's no need to thank me, Goku. I will come back for you in two days. Whis said, and with that, he said goodbye, and disappeared into the portal he created. Just as Whis left, everyone approached Goku, surrounding him and bombarding him with questions all at once. All right now, speak one by one. I can't understand anything if you all speak at the same time. Goku calmed them down. Son, is it true that the earth is at stake? Jinae asked. As Whis said, it seems that Bills and his brother bet the earth of Universe 7 in a wrestling tournament. Goku replied to his mother. How can you be so calm when the earth of your universe is at stake? Tiamat asked nervously. What do you want me to tell you? It's so normal for me that it doesn't surprise me anymore, Goku replied calmly. That seems very strange to you, Issei said, to which most nodded. So, will you leave? Asia asked, her eyes watery as she grabbed his shirt. You will return right? Kaneko asked, putting on the same sad face as Asia. Everyone present looked at Goku with a sad and lonely face thinking that he would never come back when he left. Why are you all making those sad faces? Won't you come with me? Goku asked, confused by their reactions. Is that true? They all asked at the same time. Of course, I also have to introduce my mother to her grandchildren. Goku replied nervously. Everyone was happy to be able to go to the world where Goku lived, and to be able to meet his friends who appeared in the adventures he told them. Well, it's already late. Let's go to sleep. Tomorrow, I have several visits to make. Goku told the group, who were intrigued by his plans. The next day, Goku visited all the faction leaders to invite them to visit his universe and enjoy the upcoming tournament. They all accepted, curious to see Goku's world, and verify if there were indeed people as strong as he claimed. On the day Whis was scheduled to return and transport everyone to Universe 7, Goku's house was filled with people, including Mayo Userzuches, Lee Vitten, the Archangels Michael and Gabriel, and Azazel. As everyone interacted, a portal opened in the living room. Whis emerged from it and, after greeting everyone, invited them to enter the portal. Goku was the first to step in, and the others followed. The Earth. Universe 7. A portal opened in the courtyard of the Capsule Corp, where all of Goku's acquaintances had gathered, preparing for a grand welcome party. Everyone looked towards the portal with anticipation, eager to see their friend again. Then, Goku, now appearing as a teenager, stepped out of the portal. Hello everyone, it's been a while, comma. Goku greeted everyone with a smile. Everyone was surprised. They had heard about Goku's transformation from Vegeta, but seeing it was a different matter. Dad? Is it really you? Gohan asked. Of course, son, Goku replied with his typical smile. It's him. There's no doubt, Krillin confirmed, recognizing Goku's carefree demeanor. You damned. Isn't it enough for your race to age slower? Did you have to become a teenager again? Bulma yelled at him, both furious and jealous. This wasn't my doing. Besides, why don't you ask Shenlong to rejuvenate you? Goku suggested. Well, I might just do that. Would you like that, Vegeta? Bulma asked her husband. Humph. Do what you want, woman, Vegeta replied dismissively. While everyone laughed at Bulma and Vegeta's exchange, a large number of people began to emerge from the portal, looking around in confusion. Guys, over here. Goku called out, waving his hand. Those who saw Goku began to approach him. Father, who are all those people? Gohan asked. Oh, they are my friends and new family from the other universe. Goku replied. 
surprising everyone present except Vegeta, who already knew about it.